new telescope is designed to find regions of space so far away that even Hubble can't see them. Right to the edge of the visible universe where the first stars were born and where young galaxies formed, the James Webb Space Telescope's mission is to catch their light. It's expected to provide insights into the early history of the universe. Researchers know that all the stars and galaxies they see today formed from diffuse masses of gas. But how did it happen? To find some answers, the new James Webb telescope must gather as much light as possible. And for that, it needs a really big mirror. So big, it has to be folded up in 18 pieces to fit into the launch vehicle. Once in space, it will unfold to its full size. You almost have to fabricate a mirror that works like an enormous mirror. It has to be ground as if its dimensions are huge. But of course, what you have is these individual parts, the segments. Each segment has to be aligned so precisely that afterwards we end up with good sharp pictures. The light emanating from the first stars and galaxies is extremely weak. It travels through the universe more than 13 and a half billion years before it reaches Earth. James Webb will examine the world in the infrared part of the light spectrum. That's the only way to catch the faint radiation emitted by stars and galaxies at the edge of the universe. And the only way to see through the dust clouds between Earth and distant space. The new telescope must be kept very cold, below minus 220 degrees Celsius. The heat from the sun and Earth would blind it, so a giant shield will protect its sight. In 2013, if all goes well, James Webb will start focusing on the early cosmos.